Yo, Rogue Company posted a video on Twitter. I want to have a little look at it. It talks about some buffs and some nerfs with Vi, Sigrid, maybe Fixer, and then literally everyone. So we'll jump in. We'll have a little look at what's going on. If you guys like the video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, dislike it. If you really hated it, DM me on Twitter and send me little angry face emojis. So let's have a little look and uh, let's see what Pretty Air has to say. Hey, hey folks, welcome back. back to another episode of This Week in Rogue Company. Now, this week we have our first pass at balance and tuning since season one went live. I think it's a little bit strange how the first balance update since season one doesn't do anything to the season one characters. I feel like Kestrel needs a little bit of a tweak, but they've obviously been looking at it and they think she's okay for now. So we'll see, we'll see. And just as a heads up, we're gonna be skipping the Rogue replay today. Up first is everyone's favorite shield maiden, Secret. Just to give a bit of context here, the combat shield was something we wanted to be very careful with when we initially released this character. The shield is the first ability of its kind. So he said the first ability of its kind there. They're gonna make more like Sigrid. We wanted to make sure that the community was learning to play against an iteration of Sigrid that was probably a little undertuned in order to avoid frustration where possible. I think this is a really good idea, to be honest. If Sigrid started OP, people would have fucking hated her. If she's tuned properly and if she works really well, it's a playstyle that is it's good, it's effective, but it is pretty cheesy. So, fair enough, let's just hope they don't go overboard with the buffs. Please, for the love of God, turn the sound of her shield down when it's deactivating. We feel good about how the shield has been received by players, but Secret is underperforming relative to where we feel is healthy for the character overall. To remedy this, we're looking to tweak her perks as well as the warmth. We'll be subbing tracker rounds out for life drink. Uh, makes sense, she doesn't have a smoke, so I guess tracker rounds are not as useful for her. If she manages to find a 1v1 when she's got her shield up and takes the fight close quarters, she'll take damage because they can melee through her shield. If she can regenerate health after that fight to be able to take the next one quicker, that actually might be might be a good thing. It might balance her really well. I don't think this will make her OP. If she gets in a 2v1, she's still going to have a very hard time surviving, even with her shield up. And this, of course, doesn't help her at all with that initial fight. It's being able to take the second fight quickly enough after the first. Could be good, could be good. We'll see how that goes. We're also testing a main- All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm editing the video and I noticed that in this clip, you can see damage numbers popping off of the Dahlia saying she's getting hit for five whilst in a molly. I'm assuming it's something to do with their playtesting, but the Dahlia is linked with the Sigrid here. I'm not sure if this already exists in play. Um, if one of you in the comments could let me know, but it looks like she also might be getting a buff to her passive, which makes her take less damage from mollies. So that's cool. We're also testing a melee damage reduction tier one perk for her to see if that makes the up close and personal shield play style a bit safer to pull off. This could be fucking cool, man. This could be really cool. So far, she's the only character that I see this perk working on properly. Maybe some characters you can remove cloaked or shred arounds. If it's a tier one perk, uh, how effective is it going to be? Uh, we'll see, because it's only going to cost 4K. I don't think it's going to be too effective, but it might be just enough to help Sigrid win that 1v1 fight to activate life drain and then move forward from there. Last but not least, the warrant will be receiving both a slight range and a slight body damage increase. Uh, as far as I remember, the reason the warrant is in its current state is because of Fixer. So they're buffing the warrant for Sigrid, but is that going to now unbalance Fixer and make Fixer a lot more powerful? When he was released, he would throw smoke into a site, activate, and then just, just, kick, just walk in and kill everyone. It was kind of wild. So the warrant was reduced because of that kind of play. Not enough of a change and Sigrid is still going to be low down. Too much of a change and you push Fixer too high. Given that she does have a giant metal shield up when she is using the warrant most of the time. The warrant does still need to be bad because 
she's got a lot more value in the shield in front of her. I trust that they'll get it right. I, I should hope they're doing a lot of playtesting with it. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. We're also looking at Vi. When you're playing properly, she can get fairly tanky at face value, stealing max HP from her enemies. To temper her overall tankiness, we're going to be replacing Tenacity with Bounce Back. Rip Vi. Vi dead. Rip Vi. Fucking rip. 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 Ah. Uh, fuck. Vi? WH Omega lol? Nah, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. I think that'll be okay. It does bring Vi down but it might mean she's a little less of a consistent pick across attack, defense, every map. I feel like that might balance her a little bit more, actually. This, this could be good. And bounce back, which replaces tenacity, might be a super good choice. It allows her to regenerate the extra health that she has that little bit quicker. I think bounce back fits her kit a little bit more, but at the same time, fucking rip. <laughs> Vi means be like, Sag. Another balance change we're looking to make has nothing to do with any rogue in particular, but it is one that the community has heavily requested nonetheless. We're looking to throttle the speed at which you can repeatedly spam the crouch button. And now the Lancer mains are sad. We want crouching to feel quick and responsive, but not to the point where spamming it becomes an optimal strategy during combat. I mean, good. I'm happy. Crouch spam is the weirdest thing. I do it. I crouch spam. It's weird though. Looking at the video from this, I think they got the balance right. It does still look like it feels snappy. Uh, it does still give you enough speed to be able to crouch spam and get the benefit of moving your head around so they can't shoot it. But yeah, I am I'm happy with this update. I think that's a great one. Pretty hair. You're a fucking king, boy. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of... Ila twerk. <laughs> I thought this was really important. There's a lot of big changes in here that are going to seriously take an effect on the gameplay. Um, does it make Sigrid viable in high-end ranked or competitive play? <sighs> Shit, we'll see. Does it bring Fixer back into meta? We'll see. Does it mean that the... The... the what was her name again? I, I, I can't remember. Does it mean that Vi is dead to everyone? No. Does it mean that teabagging is going to be a lot more slow and methodical? Yeah, it does. But no, once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I might do more of these if you guys like them. So I guess outro, outro, graph, outro. See you guys later.